everyone and welcome back to my channel. Myself, Dr. Surbisani, the host and the founder of the channel, Dr. Surbisani Dental Series and Medical Videos. Today I am going to talk about something really important which has been repeated more than 5 times in the last 10 years paper of the theory exam of the subject oral pathology. Yes, today we are going to study the important topic and the most repeated topic of oral pathology and that is internal resorption. So without wasting time, let's get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel by pressing the button subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. The importance of bell icon is that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos. Already there is a YouTube short regarding how you will learn the topics in oral pathology. There are subheadings which I have already told you to follow so as to learn any topic in oral pathology. So today also we will follow and complete the topic in the same manner. Begin with the topic internal resorption it has four different names and to learn those four different names of internal resorption I have made one mnemonic that is copy. Here is the little difference in the mnemonic spelling Instead of C-O-P-Y, here the mnemonic is C-O-P-I. C stands for Chronic Perforating Hyperplasia of Pulp. O stands for Odontoclastoma. P stands for Pink Tooth of Murmury. And I stands for Internal Granuloma. These four are the different names of internal resorption. If we talk about the definition of internal resorption, then it is defined as the unusual tooth resorption that basically begins with the central part of the tooth and followed by the peculiar inflammatory hyperplasia of the pulp. If we talk about the cause of internal resorption, then usually the cause of internal resorption is unknown, although Carious exposure or pulpal inflammation could be the cause. The clinical feature of internal resorption. Usually we found that internal resorption is seen in incisor, cuspid, bicuspid and even in molars also. So as you can see on the screen, So as you can see on the screen there if we talk about the clinical feature then there is the appearance of the pink hue in the center of the tooth which is reflecting with the remaining part of the tooth structure and present in the crown. As you can well appreciate the pink hue is there in the crown portion of the tooth. And it is reflecting the pink color from the remaining tooth structure. Talk about the radiographic feature of internal resorption. Then radiographically there is the presence of the round or avoid radiolucent area at the center of the tooth. As you can see on the screen. Along with that, if we talk the histopathologically regarding the internal resorption of the lacuna and its variety, that means first there is the resorption occur in the pulpal surface of the dentine followed by the resorption of the pulp. Along with that, these resorption can also lead to the resorption of the irregular lacuna like variety and that can lead to the formation of the odontoclast and that's why it is also known as odontoclastoma. Along with that there is a different irregular bands which is seen 
in the histopathological section as the resorption then repair then resorption then repair so this type of irregular pattern is seen in histopathological section if we talk about the treatment of the tooth who is having the internal resorption then the first treatment is the root canal treatment but if this situation continue for a longer period of time and it result in the perforation of the tooth then definitely the treatment will be the extraction of that particular tooth as this condition is found to be a sign of chronic inflammation of that particular tooth so that's all about the important topic of oral pathology about the internal resorption Thank you.